Hello there, welcome to my channel, welcome to Yoga with Anya. Today we are moving through a vinyasa flow class, a practice where you get a lot of movement back into your body, a lot of breath work done. So I hope you're ready to energize the body, ready to flow and let's get onto the mat and practice. In our class we come to stand at the top of the mat, feet hip width apart and let's just take a moment to connect to our bodies. Take your hands towards your heart, palms are towards one another. Close your eyes down for a moment and allow yourself to settle into this practice. Notice where the weight is in your feet could be that you're quite far forward in the balls of your feet. It could be that you rather feel the heels pressing down towards the earth. You might feel that one leg is carrying more of your body weight than the other. And see if you can shift your weight into the center of that foot-earth connection. So you really feel that your feet are grounding evenly down towards the earth. Relax the soles of your feet, allow your toes to spread apart. Then check in if your knees are roughly sitting above the heels. You might want to open them a little bit further apart. Notice the positioning of your hips. Gently tuck your tailbone down and under. And then notice your last vertebra, the area of your tailbone. And from there, start to lengthen up your spine, vertebra by vertebra. Really feel the crown of your head lifting up towards the skies and reaching away from your feet. So your body is really stretching and lengthening apart. Roll your shoulders gently down and away from the ears. Lift the crown of your head towards the ceiling. And then let's take three collective breaths here. Inhale through the nose, draw the breath into the belly. And exhale out through the mouth. A couple more, inhale deeply. And exhale fully. One more full breath, inhale through the nose. And exhale, nice long out breath through the mouth. Very, very nice. And so now release your arms towards either side of your body and let's start to flow. Inhale, reach your arms forward and up. Nice long stretch through the body, look up towards the ceiling. And on your out breath, soften and bow. Uttanasana, forward fold, relax the head. Inhale, lift halfway, take your hands to your shins for the first round. Lengthen the crown forward, look down. Exhale, hands release down towards the earth. Step the right leg back, step the left leg back into plank. From here, shift the body forward. First round, lower the knees down and then tuck your elbows and lower the whole body to the earth. Release the hips. Inhale, lift your chest off the mat, roll your shoulders away from your ears. Breathe here. And as you exhale, soften down, curl your toes under, shift back into tabletop, and then the hips move all the way back and up into downward facing dog. Breathe out completely. Inhale, lift the heels, look forward. With two steps, make your way to the top of your mat, feet hip width apart. Exhale, soften and bow. To come up, let's roll up to standing, shift the hips forward, vertebra by vertebra, roll into mountain pose. And then open your arms out and around the body. Hands meet up and overhead. And then draw your hands down through the heart. Back into mountain pose. Let's inhale. Keep grounding through the feet. Reach your fingertips towards the skies. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. For this round, you can take your hands to the shins or onto the floor. Lengthen flat back. Release your hands down. Step the left foot back. Step the right foot back. Plank. Shift the body forward, lower all the way down or the knees down first. 
Breathe in, shoulders move back, chest is lifting. Exhale, downward facing dog, either through table or plank. Make your way back into down dog. Inhale here. Exhale, completely look forward. Walk, hop or step to the top of your mat. As you inhale, roll up to standing. Arms move out and around the body. Breathe in fully, stretch into those fingertips. And then release your hands down to your body. One last round, inhale, full stretch. Exhale, soften and bow, Uttanasana. Inhale, lift halfway your version. Release your hands and this time maybe hop back into your plank. Shift forward, lower all the way or halfway. Inhale for Bhutangasana or upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. From here, lift the heels, look forward. Walk, hop or step to the top of your mat. Release the upper body. Inhale, roll up to standing arms. Lift up last. And exhale, hands all the way down through to the heart. Hope you're a bit warmer now. Now from here, bring your feet fully together in the center of your mat. Take your hands onto the hips, bend your right knee and then step the left foot straight back. So both feet are in line. From here, shift the back foot fully down onto the mat, warrior two. Lean into your front leg so the knee comes above the ankle and then open your arms to parallel to the floor. Send your gaze over the front fingers. Inhale. Exhale here. And then start to lean your body forward. Reach your right hand all the way forward until you can place the forearm onto the leg and then flip your left palm and reach it all the way up and overhead. Take a complete breath here in your extended side angle. Keep the shoulders lifted away from the ears. And now as you inhale, draw your arms back to center. Extend the right leg, feet are parallel. And then for the other side, open the left foot. Have a look at your heel is in line with the middle of the back foot. And then open it out into warrior two. Inhale, lean forward and exhale. Extended side angle. Take a complete breath here. Inhale and exhale. And then as you move back to center, extend your leg, shift back into warrior two. On the first side, right knee bends forward. And then for our vinyasa, our flow, release your hands towards either side of your foot. Step back into your plank, take a round of vinyasa, shift forward, lower all the way to the ground. Inhale for Bhutangasana or up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Look forward, walk, step or hop your feet to the top of your mat. Roll up to standing, reach your arms out and around, hands meet at the top in prayer. And then draw your hands down through the heart. Bring your hands back onto your hips. Right foot forward, step the left foot back. For warrior one, bring your feet to about hip width apart. And then drop your back foot into a 45 degree angle. Release it down to the earth. Shift your front knee over the front ankle and allow your hips to square off with the top of your mat. Inhale, arms reach forward and up. Exhale, relax the shoulders. We repeat that two more times. Release your arms down. Inhale, lift your shoulders to your ears. And exhale, drop them. One more round, arms come down, inhale. Exhale, to release. Beautiful work, take your hands to your heart. Extend the front leg for a version of Pyramid's Pose. Breathe and lift the sternum to the ceiling. And on the out breath with a nice long spine, bring your body into um, parallel to the floor. Pause here for a moment, reach the crown of your head forward. And then as you exhale, soften your whole upper body over your front leg to wherever you can comfortably reach. You can hold onto the thigh, the calf, or have your hands on either side of the front leg. Shift the weight evenly into both feet. 
hip, hips move back towards the end of your mat and the crown of your head is reaching down towards the earth. Take one more full breath here. Inhale and exhale. Very, very nice. And the same way you came in, take your hands to your heart, lift up halfway and then all the way up to standing. Great, let's move on to the second side. Bring your feet parallel and then move the left foot forward. Step the right foot back into warrior one. Left knee over the left ankle, right leg is straight. Ground into the outer edge of your back foot and then take your arms all the way forward and up. Inhale, shoulders to the ears and exhale, soften. Release your arms down one, two more rounds rather, inhale. Exhale, release your arms down. One last, breathe in, square the hips off with the top of the mat. And exhale, release. For the second version, bring your hands behind you. You can either move into a reversed prayer or hold opposite elbows. Extend your front leg, lead away from your sternum and then come to lean over halfway. Ground evenly into both feet, gently press your heels to the earth and then see if you can start to soften your upper body over that front leg. Crown of the head is reaching down. Release your hands to the leg, the earth, any way you can comfortably reach and then allow your head to bow down. Actively shift your hips towards the back of your mat or which is now, it's the front of the mat. This is the back, head towards the back of your mat. Breathe here. And then to come out the same way you came in, reverse your prayer, hold opposite elbows. Inhale, lift halfway. And then exhale all the way up to standing. And because we're on this side, we're gonna vinyasa from here. So bend your front knee, release your hands to the earth. Step back into plank, shift forward, lower all the way down. Breathe in for your cobra or up dog and exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take a moment in child's pose, a moment to soften, knees come down, big toes together, take your hands around the body and soften the forehead to the earth. Gently roll up through the spine. Come into a seated posture. You can stay where you are. I'm just changing so you can comfortably see what I'm doing, what we're doing next. Place the left fingertips down onto the ground. Extend your right arm past the ear up towards the ceiling and then lift up and over into your side stretch. Hang out here for a moment so you can really feel the right side body opening. And then inhale back through center and exhale, side body stretch. Reach into your fingertips, soften the shoulders and then come all the way back to center and release. From here, lift your arms forward and up. Open your chest, your gaze. Think of a version of cat and cow. Exhale, hands behind you, round your back. Two more rounds. Inhale, feel the shoulders squeezing in, the chest opening. And then the opposite is happening here. Shoulders broad and chest is gently released. One more, inhale. Exhale. And then as you release, come back to center. Take your right hand onto the left knee, fingertips behind you. Breathe in to lift through the spine. And then on the out breath, start to twist and turn towards the left. Please come back to center, left hand over to the right knee, right fingertips behind, inhale, lengthen, and exhale to twist. Come all the way back to center, place both of your hands down onto your legs, or another version actually is to place your hands on top of one another as a gesture of receiving, energy, the benefits of your practice, anything you currently need. And then allow your eyes to close down for a moment. Allow your whole body to just rest. 
the practice to gently drop into your body, the benefits of the practice to settle in. Stay in stillness for as long as you like. And when you're ready to move again, bow your head to your heart in gratitude. Say thank you. And I say thank you to you. Namaste. Namaste.